Greetings, my little anarcho-capitalist. It is I, the Great One himself, Cynical Libertarian Society, CYNLIBSOC.com, upon the interwebs. Give me Bitcoin. Send me email. God. Dog spelled backwards. God at CYNLIBSOC.com. Mac users. God, I fucking hate Mac users. Macs are good computers. I have nothing against Macs. It's the people who use Mac computers, Apple computers, that I can't fucking stand. I told a story a significant time ago about the idiot I needed to send him a video, so I uploaded the video to my website and I sent him the link. I said, here it is. And he writes back, he says, well, I need an FTP login to download this. I'm like, why do you need an FTP login to download this? He said, well, because when I put the address in my browser and go there, it starts playing the video. I don't want to play it. I want to download it. I'm like, dude, you go to the top menu bar and you click on file, and then you click on save, and then it saves the fucking video. A fucking Mac user doesn't know how to save a file on the internet. This is how intelligent Mac users... Here's the thing about Mac users. You always hear Mac users going, my Mac is so easy to use. What they're saying is, when a Mac user says to you, they use Mac, Apple, I'm going to call it Apple, they use Apple, because Mac just sounds, Mac sounds like a, it's like this bleh word, right? When you say Macintosh, that makes sense, Macintosh, but that's three syllables. I'm going to go Apple, two syllables. Apple users, they're like, I love my Apple, it's so easy to use. So you're telling me you're not smart enough to use Windows. Now, I'm not saying Windows is perfect. Windows is far from perfect. But if Windows is too complicated for you to use, you double-click on the icon. I mean, that's really too complicated for somebody who uses an Apple. If Windows is too complicated for you to use, should you have a computer? Should you be allowed to vote? Should you even be alive? Natural selection says you shouldn't. Natural selection says your DNA should be removed from the gene pool. Using Windows is not that fucking difficult. The reason I'm whining about this is I got an email from one of my clients and to to sum up this exchange, she paid some guy to do some graphic design for her to design a logo. It's a really shitty looking logo. It looks like some fucking clip art that came out of Microsoft Works. And in fact, it might even be clip art from Microsoft Works. It's really bad. So she paid money for this. And he provided her with some files. And they're all really small. They're small small size. Anyway, so she wants to use these her logo that she paid money for on stationery and stuff like that. So she sent him an email. She says, so how do I go about using this in Microsoft Word and PowerPoint and such to, you know, to use it because I paid, she paid money for this logo and now she wants to use the logo on stationery and in presentations, which is what she fucking paid for. And he writes back and he said, well, those are Illustrator files. And if you want to use the files in stationary, you'll have to buy Adobe Creative Suite in order to use the files. And then as far as showing you how to put them into Word or PowerPoint, if you're on a Mac, I can show you. But if you're on a PC, I don't know how to do that. I'd have to ask some of my friends. So this is, this is an Apple user. What we are seeing here is the intelligence of the person, the kind of person, who uses an Apple computer. This woman paid him money for a logo. He then provides her the logo in Adobe Illustrator format instead of giving it to her in JPEGs and PNGs and TIFFs so that she can actually use it. And then, 
when she says, how do I use this in Microsoft Word, he doesn't know how if it's not on a fucking Apple computer. Because Microsoft Word on a PC, running on Microsoft Word on a Windows computer is so difficult to use. Why, it's so complicated to insert an image. Because, I mean, first you have to open the folder that has the image in Explorer. Then you have to open Microsoft Word. Then you have to create a new document. Then you have to drag. Then you have to go to the Explorer window, click on the picture, and drag it into the document, and then release the mouse button. This is really fucking complicated shit if you're a fucking Apple user. Why don't those of you who use Apple computers because they're so easy to use, why don't you go fucking kill yourselves? Why don't you go fucking kill yourselves? Because your DNA needs to be out of the fucking gene pool. Your DNA is like fucking urine in the gene pool, okay? You need to be filtered out. If you're that fucking stupid, why would you give your client Adobe Illustrator files? I mean, you should give the client the Adobe Illustrator files, but you should also be giving the client files that the client can actually use. The JPEGs, the TIFFs, the PNGs. To have, to, 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 to tell somebody who has paid you money for your services, they have to buy some fucking software to use the graphic you've designed for them, the really shitty graphic you designed for them? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you Apple users? What in the fuck is wrong with you people, other than you have Steve Jobs' cock in your mouth? You, you fucking Apple users are the dumbest fucking subgroup of people on the planet Earth. I haven't met an Apple user yet that was not a fucking douchebag. To tell some, you have to buy. You have to buy Adobe Creative Cloud to fucking put the goddamn file in her stationery? Are you fucking shitting me? What the fuck is wrong with you people out there? Apple users. God damn it, you people are the most fucking brain dead, brainwashed. Can you be brain dead and brainwashed at the same time? Well, you could. After your brain is dead, it can be washed. Yeah, you're the most brain dead, brainwashed bunch of fucking people. You're just so in love with your fucking Apple computer because it's so easy to use. Oh my god! Because, yeah, Windows, it's just so complicated. Microsoft Word is really... Do you realize... Does this fucking motherfucker realize that Microsoft Word is used all over the planet Earth by people who have IQs of, like, 60? I mean, right, one reason Microsoft Word is so predominant... Pre preeminent? Predominant? Whatever. Why it's used a lot? Who cares? It's early in the morning. I'm still waking up on the first cup of coffee. Fuck you. One reason... Why Microsoft Word is used so widely, in addition to just Microsoft being behind it to push it and everything else, is the fact that it's so goddamn easy, even the stupidest person in a cubicle can use it. This is why you go into any fucking corporation in America, you go in the cubicles, everybody's talking, talking, everybody's typing into Microsoft Word. Because it's so easy to use that even the dumbest fucking person in a cubicle can figure it out. But no, not if you're an Apple user. If you're an Apple user, that's way too complicated for you. Now, you'd, you'd have to ask some of your friends who use PCs how to do that. Because not only are you not smart enough to know how to insert an image into a fucking Word document, you're not smart enough to figure out how to insert an image into a Word document. That shit is so complicated, you just can't fucking do it. Because you're a goddamn Apple user. And your Apple's just so easy to use. Get the fuck out of my fucking gene pool, you fucking Apple users.